Ladies, what would you do if you found out that the next few years of your life are mapped out and predetermined? Would it excite or scare you? The truth is, we all have a plan. We just need to follow the map, which for some people might be more difficult than others. But once they find their way, they'll realize there's no better feeling of accomplishment than following God's plan to crush their goals. In this video, we are going to learn more about how following your personal divine appointment will help get you where you want to go. Many Christian believe that pursuing our goals goes against certain Christian beliefs and counteracts whatever plan God has in store for us. On the contrary, scriptures encourage us to pursue our goals and achieve success. Consider these passages from the Bible. Jeremiah 29 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. 1 Chronicles 4.10, Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me, and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. The Promise of God In Jeremiah, God tells you there is a plan for your wonderful and amazing plan. It's a plan for success and joy. Where did God plant that plan? In your heart, of course. God has given you the desire to succeed and manifest his work in this world. The question is, how do I find that plan? Since God planted the plan in your heart, look in your heart. Look prayerfully. Try these strategies to discover this plan. Number 1. What is your passion? Your passion holds the dreams which God planted in your heart. Follow your passion. Number 2. Are you pushing it away? Is there something in the back of your mind you're trying to avoid? Bring it to the forefront. Look at it clearly. This may contain God's plan for you that your ego wants to avoid. Your ego is that part of you that wants your will, not God's. Number 3. The what then, trick ask yourself, once I achieve that goal, what then would I want? Keep asking, what then, until you have this deep aha experience that says, that's it. That's the ultimate plan for my life. Trust in God's promise. God's not going to give you the entire plan at once. After all, you might get scared if you discovered God wanted you to begin a worldwide coaching business that would require writing three books a year for the next 10 years, managing a staff of 100 people, and others being jealous of you or speaking untruths about you. God doesn't seem to write with straight lines. The path may meander about, especially when you interject your own will. God then rewrites the path, and you're set again. The key is trusting that God has everything in hand, even when you can't see more than 10 feet in front of you. The Prayer of Jabez Once you know the direction you're going, even if you only know the first step or two, let God know you're ready. Consider these ideas found in the story of Jabez. 1. Jabez asked God to bless me and enlarge my territory. You can ask God to bless you with the wisdom, knowledge, and resources needed to accomplish his plan for you. Bless your business, so it expands in every way according to God's will for you. 2. Then Jabez requested, let your hand be with me. Ask God to guide and direct you, to inspire you, and let you know each succeeding step. Tell God that you'll listen to his messages to you. Stay in communication with God through prayer. 3. Lastly, Jabez asked, keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. Ask for God's protection in every area of your life for you, your family, and your business. Implied in your request is that your actions will be according to God's word. 4. Then, you're told that God granted his request. God promised through Jeremiah that he has plans for you, plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Final thoughts. Ladies, it's important to remember when you're living God's plan for you and asking for assistance, the goals you set will be according to that plan. Your goals are God's goals for you. 
you can crush those goals and all your future ones as well. Please feel free to grab the resources below to help you crush your goals. And, remember ladies this channel is for you, and we are here for you. So please feel free to leave any questions you may have in the comments. Thanks so much for watching we hope you found this video helpful. If so let us know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribes button and we will see you soon with another video.